All right, well, I'm back with a, another uh, money saving tip. If you need an antenna and you have a coax cable or you get one, this is an old one. And uh, this is my friend, Willie. Here's Willie. Uh, trailer, you see it's been damaged with the hurricane, but it's still waterproof on top. And uh, well, you can't get channels real good. Uh, these are antenna channels, of course, and I'll show you how to make an antenna just with a cable. Connector that's going to go in the TV. I'm cutting it this. So you need to strip it for 8 inches, so 20 centimeter, about. And these are, you can't really use strippers because they don't, the foam is so stuck. So you, you just use a knife. I got about eight inches. I'll cut it here and then I'll go install it on the TV and I'll show you. You see that wonderful antenna? Oh, put a break away especially today and that part will rust because it's cheap I guess it's not copper it's got to be plated and after a while it breaks but all you got to do is strip another 8 inch or it could be 12 depending on the frequency you really want to have and how far you're from the antennas so that's a uh, the booster that, yeah. that was there so yeah we had 28 channels we had 28 channels before we're at 59 now it's still scanning god. 65 83 channels now my god yeah 96 channels there you go. So, that is beautiful snowfall right there it's really coming down in somerset beautiful like a 